What's good? What's up, guys? Let's do Jack here with some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we began the Forsaken Fortress. Wah! I'm out of breath. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to continue going up the Forsaken Fortress. Uh, so if you come up this way, you can see there's Searchlight over there, Searchlight right there. Uh, I know we already taken or took down the one that like, lets us go that way, but why not? Let's. Nah. We don't need to. Um, so let's just keep going this way. And, uh, <laughs> with that intro, I don't know, I was sitting here, you know, like I was in a, a call, uh, with a couple of my friends before I started recording, and I just had, like, kind of crouched, just like, you know what, let's do something like football, like, whoosh! Just do something really random. But, yeah, so, if you come over here, you will, you'll keep these, get these, um, like, views of how close you are to where a reel is, and stuff, uh, but if you grab this, you just push it forward, then you'll get a crate right there. Uh, for sake of time, I'm not going to push it, but if I do get captured or something, then I can just go right back there and just keep going back up. Um, I will say this though if I sound like I'm congested, or I'm I could just no, if I'm congested or anything, um, or if I sound a little bit different, um, this past weekend I did, um, I did kind of get a little sick, but, you know, not too bad. I'm, I'm over it now, you know, back at school and stuff, but I still, like, I have a little cough. I don't know if I want to do it during a video or whatnot, but I have that in my nose. It's a little bit stuffy at points, so, that's about it. I don't know why it took so long to explain that. <laughs> um, but as you see, we are almost there. And if I remember, I got something really funny to say when we get our sword back. Don't mind uh, spoilers, even though you can already tell we're going to do that. So let's see. There is that guy. That guy with the stuff and the thing and the who. Let's see how close we can get without him spotting us. Okay, right there. And then he's going to go. Oh. Shwa. 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 And we just gotta watch him. You would think it. They'll all be freaking out and be like, what's up with the surge light? Are you walking past me? Okay. And let's just go. Okay, so... Uh, the good thing is, though, if you do somehow manage to fail, there is another um, barrel crate thing right over here, actually. Just drop down right here. Wah. And just push this off the edge. Make sure you don't roll into the crate, because that would really suck. Just royally screw yourself over and be like, God dang it! And then you fall and be like, I gotta do all that again. But yep. And then we're going to go find her sister. Let's save her from the giant bird thing. And this is, um, yeah, when Wicker's the first game to introduce the, um, Siddle? Siddle? I think it's Saito, something like that. Where you, you know, you just go, oh my god, Metal Gear! Secret Agent Man! No, we're, uh, uh, Franklin Throb Gamer already made that reference. And I haven't talked to him in a long time. When was the last I spoke? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, this is a let's play, not a let's reminisce about things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's just keep going this way. And I'm getting a Skype message. Why? Why, Sky? Why? Look, there's our sword. <laughs> Saw his legs. And so we begin the mini boss fight, and we get our sword back. Oh yeah! You got the back, the hero sword you drop. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. Come at me, bro. So, something I like to do is, you know, just let them get their sword back, and yeah! What the? What? I never had you do that before. You know what? There you go. Wow, you just completely miss. Okay, I want to end you with a party attack. Yeah! Yeah! That's how you do things. And thus the door opens. Woo! So let's just go ahead and chop. Okay, so this is a joy pendant. Uh, you will have to get 20 of these to 
um, get um, a title deed for something later in the game, uh, and you'll have to get 40 for a, um, an item that took me too long to realize how to use. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Wake up, Ryan. Pull yourself together, Ryan. Whoa. What a crazy dream. Where am I? Have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. What the- Ah! Oh, my head. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wise as the world is, I am the only about upon it who speaks to the words of men. What about the words of women? I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Ryan. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt is foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commanded that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who attained the power to gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm that ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods have failed, and but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Ryan. Do you still wish to save your sister from him? Of course. And will you do anything to save her? Yep. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you best go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little power or strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toy, nah, toy and hardship. Do you understand? Clearly. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a um, boat that possessed the power speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. 
on this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but well, without a sail, I am useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock with anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Alright, so this mysterious boat has saved us from the evil Ganondorf, who is the same guy from Ocarina of Time. And this is actually Windfall Island. Uh, this is going to be your main hub of the game. Uh, many things will happen here. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess I can show you around. Like, as you can see, I have 116 rupees. Uh, with the max amount of rupees you need um, is 80, so you can buy the sale. Uh, but you can have just over, it's it's good to have over 80 so you can, you know, just buy whatever the hell you need. Um, but I have an interesting theory about um, Ganondorf. Um, yes, he's the same guy from Ocarina of Time if you, I don't know why, but if you've seen my Ocarina of Time OP or you played the game yourself, it's the exact same guy. Um, and when we get a little bit more into the game, I'll get more into the theory I have, but for now, we're just going to focus on what to do here, um, which I actually think we're going to take care of uh, in the next episode since we're at 12 minutes. Um, I know, I know, we just finished Forsaken Forces and got here. This is not fun. But, um, yeah, I guess we can just collect rupees as I uh, in the episode. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're going to take a look at uh, all the stuff we can do here on Windfall. Which is pretty much uh, a main hub of the game. Um, so yeah, I will see you all next time as soon as I'm done collecting rupees. Ah, and we got some random chick down here that's just like, I'm looking at the island over there. Stupid lady. So, uh, oh, I thought I was supposed to roll into the water. So yeah, I will see you all next time.